guys welcome back to my channel i hope that you're all doing really well it has been quite a while since i've done a makeup video and i've seen quite a few guys asking for an updated makeup routine um showing you guys some of the products that i'm currently using and kind of the look that i've been wearing i thought yes today is the perfect day for that so i'm going to show you guys some of the new products that i've been using and some new tips and techniques that maybe could be helpful and when it comes to makeup i love to keep things quite natural but still perfected especially when it comes to the skin I want it to really look like skin so having it be very long wearing but still have that beautiful glow and that kind of lit from within look to the skin that is my favorite thing also I have a new setup today I've changed the lighting a little bit let me know if you guys can see the colors better I know in some of my previous makeup videos you guys were saying that it was a little bit too bright so I hope that this setup and lighting kind of shows the colors better so i hope that you guys enjoy maybe find some inspiration and let's get started before i actually start with any makeup i always always make sure that my skin is prepped skincare is one of my favorite things ever i love to really take care of my skin. It number one allows me to wear less makeup because I feel like when my skin looks good, I don't wanna put on as much foundation. And secondly, when you really prep your skin, it really allows the makeup products to blend onto your skin a lot better. So making sure that your skin is cleansed, exfoliated, moisturized is so, so, so important. So I've already cleansed my skin and applied some serum and this is the moisturizer that I'm gonna use today. It is from Tata Harper. It is the Illuminating Moisturizer and it has this diamond radiance in it. So it has a little bit of a glowy finish. I'm going to take a nice pump of that and I'm going to focus this mostly on the outer perimeters of my face. And I've really been into this moisturizer lately because it does give me a little bit more of a hydrated kind of glowy Finish. And since it's gotten a little bit colder, it's nice to use something that's a little bit more moisturizing and nourishing for the skin. One of my favorite things to do lately for my skin is to use a little facial roller. This first one is from Nurse Jamie. It is the Uplift. And then this one right here is a different design, but it kind of does the same thing. It is from Amazon and it's a bit more affordable than the Nurse Jimmy one. These rollers are great for stimulating circulation in your face, getting the blood flowing, getting more oxygen to your cells, and that will help to make you look more awake, more radiant and bright. And it's an essential part for me these days before I apply my makeup. I also use these at night after I've done my little skincare routine. And it's also just very relaxing. It's like a little facial massage and it just helps to make you feel a bit more refreshed, especially in the morning. Something else that I like to do that doesn't require any tools is just to use your hands to stimulate your skin a little bit. I'm going to gently kind of slap my face, but very, very gently. And that is going to, again, help to bring the blood to the face, making you look more fresh and awake. And this is another great thing to kind of incorporate into your skincare routine and especially before you do your makeup as well. So I feel like now my skin looks a lot more awake and it has a bit more of a natural color to it. So now we're ready to apply some makeup. I'm going to start with a little pore filling primer just here around my nose area and a little bit on my forehead where I tend to get a bit shiny throughout the day. This is a new one that I'm trying. It's from 3CE. It's called the Back to Baby Pore Velvet Primer and I've really been into it. It's very similar to the Benefit Professional. So for foundation, I'm going to be applying a mix of these two right here. And when I apply foundation, I really want it to look like my skin. I want it to look super smooth and natural and very lifelike. The mix that I have been reaching for a lot lately has been a little bit of the Estee Lauder Double Wear with some of the Armani Luminous Silk. I love the longevity of the Estee Lauder and the luminous bronziness of the Armani. So I just mix them a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm just going to apply a bit more of that moisturizer that I applied earlier into the mix. I love mixing foundations and lotions together to kind of create a bit of a tinted moisturizer, especially if I feel like my skin is already doing quite well and it doesn't need too much coverage. I do always like to put in a little bit of moisturizer just to sheer it out. 
So the foundation is on. As you can see, it has this beautiful kind of natural radiance to it. It's not fully, fully matte. I like that it's a good balance between the two and it is very long wearing because of that Estee Lauder double wear. Next, I like to conceal with my all-time favorite NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Ginger. I'm gonna apply this in kind of a reverse triangle underneath my eyes because I really wanna bring a lot of light and luminosity to the center part of the face. Then I'm gonna take my Dampen Beauty Blender and blend that in. I think one of the biggest things with natural looking makeup but still very flawless and perfected is to use very, very thin layers of all the products that you're using. And I think it's also about using different shades on your skin to really mimic you know, your natural type of skin tone because to just use one foundation is not very realistic because our skin tone is not just one color. So I like to apply a very thin layer of foundation and then I go back with a concealer, sometimes even a second layer of a lighter concealer just underneath my eyes. And it will allow you to get a very fresh, kind of bright look to your skin that still looks very natural but not cakey or you know too heavy when you look up close. So I'm going to go back with the same concealer but in a slightly lighter color. This is in Custard. And I'm just going to focus that right underneath the eyes where it's a little bit darker. And again, just working in very, very thin layers to make everything look very natural and blended. I have been loving this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal. It's a beautiful liquid highlighter that I like to apply before I set my face with any powder. There's a little swatch of it on my hand. It is so beautiful. It really does look like natural skin and it just gives you that beautiful lip from within type of look. So I'm gonna apply some to the back of my hand and then I'm just going to dot it onto the high points of my face and then take the same foundation brush I used earlier to blend that into my skin. So I'm done with all the liquid products that I'm going to use on my skin. So now I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye with some translucent powder. This is one of my favorites from Laura Mercier. I have been using this for years now. I'm going to take my beauty blender again and I'm just going to get the powder on the very tip. I really just want to focus this underneath my eyes where I tend to get a bit of creasing throughout the day. And I'll also be applying that to my T-zone, so between my brows, a little bit around my nose area and on my chin. So I've powdered just the center part of my face and I've left the outer perimeters a bit glowy and dewy. As I mentioned before, I want my skin to look like skin and I want it to have that natural radiance. So I'm really setting my skin just where it needs to be set. And then the rest has this beautiful natural glow, kind of like a lip from within glow, which is what I want. I'm going to bring you guys a little bit closer. I'm going to quickly do my eyebrows. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo and their double end spoolie brush. I'm going to take this darker brown color and I'm just going to start to define the shape and fill in the sparse areas. I really tried to make sure that this line right here is parallel with the upper line. Just kind of fixing the shape a little bit. and then creating a really nice arch. Then I'm going to take a little bit of this Ico brow gel just to set my brows in place. I like to just kind of run the brush upwards just to give that kind of more like natural bushy effect to the brows. This makes the brows look a little bit fuller and more natural. And I am getting my eyebrows microbladed soon, you guys. I'm so, so excited. I'm pretty sure I'm going to vlog the whole experience. Let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing that. I'm not a huge eyeshadow person, but I do like a little bit of something on my lids from time to time. Recently, I've really been into this Kiko Stick eyeshadow in number 06, and it gives this beautiful bronzy kind of coppery sheen to the lids. So I'm just gonna run this over my entire lid, and then I'm gonna take my finger to blend it in. So 
So the shadow stick is on. Do you guys see how pretty is that? And it's just so quick and easy. It's literally foolproof because you just have to blend it in with your finger. And then what I love to do is just to take a little bit of my bronzer. This is the Chocolate Soleil bronzer from Too Faced. Can you guys tell that I'm into this? And I'm going to take this tiny little contour brush from Benefit. I'm going to run that into the bronzer and I'm going to apply this into my crease, kind of like a window wiper motion. And this is going to help soften the transition between that cream shadow and my natural skin color. Using this brush is one of my favorite ways to apply transition color because it's so big, it kind of just applies it for you. And then I just take a little bit more and I will run that down the sides of my nose. Then I also like to take this little blending brush with some more of that bronzer and I will just kind of diffuse this color right underneath my eyes and it kind of just gives a very, very quick and easy smoky look. Next, I'm just going to curl my lashes. I love to do this. It just makes them look a bit longer and makes your eyes look a bit more bright and awake. And then I'm going to apply a few coats of the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. So the eyes are done. I love this eye look so much. It's so quick and easy. It's literally just two products, just that stick eyeshadow with a little bit of bronzer. So love this so much. So moving on to a little bit of bronzer and highlight. As I showed you guys earlier, my go-to bronzer is usually the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil one. Um, but since I use that one so often, I thought I would just show you guys something different. I have been wanting to try this out with you guys. It is the KKW powder contour and highlight kit in the color medium. So it looks like this. It comes with two powder contours and two highlights, but it will be my first time trying this out and I wanted to do it with you guys so that we can kind of talk about it a little bit. I'm just looking at the palette like this. It does look very pretty. And here they are swatched on the back of my hand. Highlighters look so, so pretty. And my Chocolate Soleil bronzer seems to be kind of in between these two. I'm going to take a mix, mostly this color, and just deepen it with a little bit of this one. I am very happy with that, you guys. I think it looks really beautiful and natural. It was easy to blend. And for me, the color tone is perfect. And I like that you have two colors, so you can kind of customize them if you want it to be a bit darker or a bit lighter. And then for highlight, I think I'm gonna go for the more gold toned one. I like a little bit more of a warmer highlight. I'm gonna take that on my fan brush and then just apply it to the high points of my face. <sighs> That is glowy. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna take the remainder on the sides of my face. Holy moly, you guys, that is intense. But I love it though, that is so pretty. I'm just going to bounce my Beauty Blender on top of that highlight just to blend it in a little bit more into the skin. But seriously though, that is beautiful. I'm gonna take a little bit more with this smaller eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna pop it into the inner corners of my eyes. I'm also gonna put a little bit of this on my collarbone and on my shoulders. Gosh, you guys, that is so pretty. Wow. For blush, I've been really into this one from MAC. It's in the color Gingerly. It has kind of like a muted pink uh, undertone to it. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of that on the apples of my cheeks. Just going to remove any product I have on my lips. I'm first going to just outline my lips with a little bit of lip liner. This is the Aqua Lip in the color 1C from Makeup Forever. It's a beautiful nude pink. And I'm just going to make my lips look a little bit fuller. It'll help make the lipstick last a little bit longer and will prevent it from bleeding and kind of fading on the edges. The lipstick that I have been wearing non-stop has been this one from Milani. This is the Amore Matte Lip Cream in the color Precious. 
I have so much love for this color, but the only thing that kind of sucks about this product is that it's a little bit drying. So I'm just gonna apply a very, very small amount and then really take my finger and blend it in and make it into more of a stain as opposed to a lipstick. And then I'm gonna top that with a little bit of lip balm. Okay, and then lastly, just to set everything in place, I'm gonna take a mix of two different setting sprays. You don't have to use two setting sprays, but I just have both of them. And this one right here is from Pixi. It is the Glow Mist. I'm gonna focus this most on the outer portions of my face and then this is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I'm gonna apply this in the center part of my face. I love mixing stuff and kind of creating your own formulas and seeing what works best for your particular skin. And that completes this everyday makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I love to do my makeup this way. It's like my skin, but better. And then we have something fun going on in the eyes and the lips, but it's nothing too, too much. As always, I will make sure to leave all of the products that I used down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed, maybe found some inspiration. I hope this new lighting setup is a little bit better for showing the colors. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And as always, you can find me on my social media. I am on Snapchat and Instagram. Both of those are at Annie Jeffrey. I hope that you're all having a really nice day and I will see you guys soon. Bye guys. Bye.